Welcome back to another uh, tutorial video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make your own sprite animation. Uh, basically, making your own little characters. Um, I will. Be, I'm. I won't be making one in this video. I will just show you the process of making one because it takes quite a while to make one. So, what is the sprite animation? Basically, you make a picture. So these are all pictures, and then you make tons of them. You put them together, and it basically makes a movie. It's like stop animation, but with pixels. And uh, you'll see this in video games. Um, my favorite um, sprite right now is the Sonic Mania sprite sheet. Look, there's the sprites. So we're going to go on images. Um, so, let me see. There's some sprite sheets like this so this is basically a sprite sheet this would be like sonic running and turning around this is a spin dash basically you do a sprite sheet you take multiple different pictures or you do multiple different pictures and just put them together and like this is his running animation um yeah the running animation is made out of four frames you have this walking animation, which is made out of uh, six frames. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So, there's some custom Sonic sprite sheets. There's idle animations, crouching animations, walking, running, flying, uh, spin dash, pushing on a wall. Some stuff like that. That's basically what a sprite sheet is. It's a sheet of the animation. So here is some of the sprite sheets for Sonic Mania. I think this is all the Sonic sprites in the game. So you can take a look at that. It might be all the sprite sheets. So you have Sonic's idle animations running. You have all the spin dash ones. Uh, you have him like almost falling. See, cause Sonic Mania it had like very fluent sprite animation so there's a lot more sprites in this one like his super transformation has uh what is it starting from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen sprites just turning into the supersonic took 18 sprites, 18 pictures. If, if you're new to sprite animation, you're probably not going to be doing that. Because, like, my sprite, uh, my frame average is probably, like, 12-ish around that area. Uh, my most is, um, 23. Um... Basically, here are some of my sprite sheets. So, th this is this cool little website called Piscal. It's completely free. Uh, you just log in with your Google account, and then you can make your own sprites. So, let's take a little look at my sprite. This is my most complex one as of now. I'm not, as I told, as I said, I'm not a sprite artist. So, you have the regular, there's the vial. It gets angry, it starts to erupt. It gets angry, it starts to erupt. Then I kinda show it like it fills with the blue fire and then it empties again. And then it like laughs or talks or whatever you want it to be. So then you can watch that, but you can also make it faster so that's 24 frames. So Sonic Mania probably runs on like, I'd say probably like 20 frames a second, maybe. I don't know. But see, when it's going too fast, since the sprites are a little janky, that means there's a bit more separation. Uh, when it goes fast, it doesn't look too smooth. So that's why I keep it at around uh, 9, I think. So back to my gallery. Uh, here's a demonstration one I made. So I'm going to view the sprite. 
So this one is a little fire stickman. It's a stickman that uses fire abilities. So the this is a little test animation. He brings his arm up. So let's go into the into the sprite info. He starts pulling his arm up. And then Oh I should swap those. So he brings his arm up and he shoots fire and his head kinda cocks back from the recoil. The fire goes. Then he brings his head back and starts putting his arm down. So I run that at nine frames per second. So you can start with something simple like that. If you want to learn how to do sprite animation, this is something easy to start with. So I just did a stick figure. The legs don't even move. The left arm doesn't move. Just the head, the fire, and the arm movement moves. So then what you, when you, what you do is when you're done, you just save. You name it. You put a description. And then you can save it to your gallery. So... Then you can look at your uh, gallery, and you'll see your sprite and anim sprite animation there. Um, and then you can do some more interesting colors. See on this one, it's like a mirror. You can do more interesting colors because this isn't one plain color. This is multiple colors, but it's a bit more of a simple sprite. So something like this, you could run pretty quickly. I can have this one on 15 and it still looks good, but I think I'll put it at like 12, I, I think is where I had it, or 13. So see that one runs pretty smoothly, but that's because it doesn't really move too much. You just see the sparkles, they go up, they go down, and then it moves like left to right. So that's basically how you make a sprite animation and how to make sprite sheets. And um... Yeah, so just find this website called Pisco, and thanks for watching.